Hey everybody, this is Barry from Volusion Studios. I'm going to take you through a real quick set of tutorials on how to take a model, rig it up, put some animations on it, and get it into Unreal uh, for use. So I just got this fish model. It's off the internet. Just did a really quick um, search. I wanted a, a real tiny fish to like swim in the background of what I'm doing. So, um, so I just got this fish model. It's really simple. It's just a mesh. has nothing in it. And what I want to do is I now want to go in and rig it so that it can move. So I'm going to go over to my uh, Setup tab, and I want to go into Setup Mode so that I make sure that when I put, place my joints that that is the bind pose that they go in. Okay, so Setup Mode allows me to move joints around without affecting, weight, without affecting the weighting or the mesh. It's basically setting the zero uh, for the joint or the base location for the joint instead of animation. So now that I'm in Setup Mode, I want to go into Wireframe Mode, and I'm going to start uh, rigging here. I'm going to hit Control Space and then right to go into side view. I'm going to go over to my setup right here and say skeleton, go to tool properties, make sure all these are zeroed out, make sure that symmetry is off and align is Z direction and X axis, and then I'm going to just ignore all this and make sure that snapping to grid is on. Okay. Sometimes if you have snapping to other things it's going to mess up with what you're trying to do, so just go grid. Okay. So now I want to place my joint. So the first joint that I'm going to place, if I remember I went back to command and skeleton, is the main joint. This joint is not going to do any weighting, it's just going to be a parent joint for everything else. So I'm going to click at 0, 0. The next one I'm going to do is a head joint. And that one is going to be about right here. So I'm going to click that. Now, I've noticed something in rigging in Moto. If you go back along here and I try and click a joint on top of a bone, it doesn't really matter, or it doesn't really work. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually <clears throat> create a joint right here. Well, I'm going to do it right here. <clears throat> and then click and drag it down. Okay. Once I do that, now I can keep going. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do at the base of the tail. And then I'm going to do one at the end of the tail. Okay. And then I hit the space bar. Now if I hit control space and go to perspective, you'll notice that it's all lined up on the axis the way that I want it to be. And now I've got this hierarchy of joints. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to rename these. This one's going to be main. This one's going to be head. Uh, I can go to properties here and do it too. So then I'm going to go, this one's going to be spine one. This one's going to be spine two. This one's going to be spine three. And this one I don't care about. In fact, I'm going to delete it. The reason why is it's not going to have anything weighted to it. This is going to have all the weighting, so I, I actually don't even need that. So uh, what I'm going to do now, now that I have the hierarchy correct, is I'm going to want to weight this uh, to, the, to the mesh. So I'm going to go back to OpenGL, or I can just go to Shaded Mode. This is the way you can see it. Okay, And then I'm going to check. I'm going to be in Setup Mode. I'm going to go to Command, and I'm going to make sure that I choose the joints that I want to be weighted. So I'm going to go these four, and then I'm going to hit Control and click on the mesh. And then I'm going to go over here to uh, Deformers, Bind, and I'm just going to do Smooth Visible. That means if, it's not, if the vertex is not visible to the joint, it's not going to weight it. You can also do Distance. Um, you can do Heat, but that, that actually um, will travel through a few things. And... Or, it, I found on this on this model that uh, smooth does a better job. Let's just do heat for now. Um, I'm going to do this, and you'll notice that because the base of the of the fin was located with the head, that makes all the fins go with it too, which actually is a good thing in this in this uh, in this weighting. If I do it the other way, let's do it again. Let's do bind smooth distance. Okay, you'll notice that the fins are weighted to this joint right here, which I don't really want that to happen. So I'm going to undo that, do it again, smooth visible, same kind of thing. And then let's do bind uh, rigid and see what happens. So rigid is just 100%, okay? So now it's rigid bound, um, but I don't want that. So I'm going to go back to heat, okay, and I'm going to say okay. So now I've got this nice fall off on the joints. Okay, and this one, the reason why this didn't work, and here's a good troubleshooting for you. If I click on this and I or I double click these, you'll notice that the spine three, there's nothing assigned to it. That's because what heat does, heat actually uses from joint to joint. And because there's no joint out here, heat's not gonna work. 
So if we want to do that, we need to actually keep that joint back here. So let's really quickly go, go like this. I'm going to actually delete this normalizing folder that removes all the weighting um, from, the, from the mesh. And I'm going to go back to my side view, control space, right. And I'm going to select this one right here and I'm going to go setup, skeleton, okay. And then I'm going to go like this. Put it right here. Actually, going to click on this joint and then go here. There we go. Okay, so now I've got spine three two. All right. So now I'm just going to rename this to spine four, like that. And now I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to select these, select the fish, go to Command Deformers Bind Heat. Okay. So now you can notice that that weighting from the tail worked in the heat in the heat weighting. Um, so now I can come in and I can actually delete this because if I click it, you'll notice there's no weighting. But now if I click this, it does all the weighting. I'm going to click it, delete it. Now I can click that and it has all the weighting that I need with heat. Okay, so then this one does all that. This one doesn't do anything. This one does all that. And the head does all that. Okay, so now with the head, I want to make sure that this area here doesn't really move with the body. So what I'm going to do is hit 1 to go into vertex mode and I'm just going to select all these points and I'm going to go to weighting and hit adjust weights. Now you'll notice all of these say 100% which is good which is exactly what I want. So I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger okay, and then say adjust weights and you'll notice these are all 100% and then it bleeds off right here which is exactly what I want so I don't even need to adjust them. So I hit escape, hit the space bar and my weighting is done. okay. So that's how you get the rig in, that's how you weight it. I'm going to hit control space, go to perspective. And the way you can test this, the way you can test your weighting is this. You can go out of setup mode, go into item mode, hitting 5 on the keyboard. I can grab the body joint right here, hit E, and rotate it around. And you'll notice I get nice soft fall off. I'm going to turn snapping off. Okay. Now if I do spine 1, spine 2, spine 3, and I rotate it, you'll notice I get nice smooth fall off and the fins stay put. Okay. So what I can do now is I can now create a swimming animation back and forth like this. And that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. So there we go. So that's the first step in here to getting the rig in the model so that you can then go animate it. So on to the next one where we will set up some animations and then uh, work with actors and actions.